Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Blackburn Rovers and they take on Birmingham City. Thanks Derek as always, this should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium, we've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch, Stuart in particular. What do you expect to see from him? Well, Derek, what form is in at present? Second in the league table in terms of goals. He's been so clinical, and I expect him to score more goals today. And here's the lineup for Blackburn Rovers. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Here's the lineup for Birmingham City. Well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3-5-2. And they kick off here. Delightful pass. And the opportunity goes a begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. Riley McGree on to Gardner useful looking position you've got to say in position and a goal to open the scoring a very bright start to this one well here it is again and credit to the goal scorer but you have to ask questions of the keeper He's got to have that near post covered for me. No wonder he's frustrated with himself. So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. Niambe. Lewis Travis, Ben Brereton. Well, can they prize them open now? A really top notch piece of defending. He's using his strength to good effect. Really good challenge. Beautifully disguised ball. Well, he had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Sanderson now let's see what they can do here McGree and he's made headway Harry Pickering Gallagher well not the pass he had in mind
Dini. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Good looking ball. There could be a chance now. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Riley McGree. Counter attacking very much an option. And he did well to cut it out. Could be troublesome. This could be the equaliser. And the challenge crisp and clean. Hogan. Bella. Scott Hogan now. Nicely timed tackle. This is looking threatening. Will he play it in? Well, he went strongly into the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Bella. Scott Hogan now. That's not a bad ball. And you need your defender to take charge. Well, the counter chance looks very real. And space to cross it. Travis. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And continues his run. Played towards the back post. But goalkeeper's ball, disappointingly for them. No mistake by the keeper. Dini. Well, tremendous block. And he takes on the shot. Played into the box. But he took care of it defensively. Brereton. Plenty of options. Showing patience. Looking for the equaliser. Cross fired over. And he failed to get it away properly. He's trying to create something. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. Breaking at pace. And they'll regard that as a very disappointing end to the move. Niambe. An alert intervention. Well, it could be on for him here. Oh, what an opportunity. High echelon goalkeeping there. Over it comes. Taking care of business defensively here. Mark Roberts. Takes some progress with the ball at his feet. And a throw in forthcoming. And possibilities here. Look as though they had attacking momentum, but not so. So almost at the break here, and not quite going to plan for the home side. Work to do, Stuart. Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. Using his physical strength to shield it. 
Well, slightly off target, and that'll be a throw-in. Joe Rothwell. Ben Brereton. One minute of stoppage time has been added on. They'd really have to switch on the turbo to get to that pass. And the managers will now deliver their half-time team talks. We're at the end of 45 minutes in this game. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. And they kick off here. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Dini. Now with Gardner. Now racing past his man. Now then there to tidy up. I must say this looks promising. Not up a cul-de-sac in terms of the attack. So a throw in here. And space to attack. Useful looking ball. Well, full marks for trying, but very deftly cut out. Gallagher. Firing it towards goal. And a goal! The equaliser! Superb entertainment! Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. He's given it straight to the opposition. Harry Pickering. Ben Brereton. Might jump in front. Well, a top-notch piece of defensive judgment. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Riley McGree. Decent position. Tremendous challenge. They've regained possession. Now well, we're into the final half hour. Buckley. Travis. Certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Lewis Travis. Retaining possession proving difficult. McGree. Well, he's lost it. Clears it away. Now can they counter clinically?
No space for them here. Options in the centre, but nicely executed defensively. Well, that's a good deflection. That'll be a corner. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Number nine, Scott Hogan, to be replaced by number ten, Lucas Djokovic. And over it comes. And the keeper there to make sure nothing untoward happened. In a position from which they could potentially do a bit of damage here. Oh, he's given the ball away. Well, he's thwarted him almost effortlessly. And the keeper not thinking it through. A chopping challenge, and the referee has got to have a big think about it. Well, the referee saw it as a bookable offence. And I think he's got it absolutely right. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. And the substitution will occur now. Gary Gardner, and with that, the attack fizzles out. A really sumptuous ball. Well, time's running out, but these fans are driving their team on here. Will he play it in? Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. And the snuffing out of the cross there. Anderson a bit of running room now on the wing Gary Gardner will he find the net and a goal in the lead again fully deserved Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. What a big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Ten minutes left for play. Lewis Travis. Now still pressing for a goal here. An attack full of promise. And using his body to good effect. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Shunic. And the pass was just that little bit off. Nearly found its target. And time for the change now. Dara Lenahan. Joe Rothwell. He's using his strength to good effect. Another successful intervention, winning the ball back. This looks promising. Can he play it in? Well, quite simply, the cross was too close to the keeper.
Clarkson. Harry Pickering. And here they come, still pressing for an equaliser. He might yet finish. Just couldn't get it through. A corner kick, and who knows, this might represent their last chance to grab an equaliser. The electronic board has been held in the air and we're going to have a minimum of four added minutes. Bella. Bad pass. Horton. Joe Rothwell. On the ball in an attacking position, but they've got to do something positive quickly. Well, he really read that brilliantly. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, not quite good enough today. Yes, they only lost by one goal, but I never felt they were in control of the game. A frustrating day all round for the coach to think about for the next time. Well, you know, when our colleagues in the newspapers come out with their grades for this match, he's going to get very high marks. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.